<clears throat> Morning. Let's take a look at this project I've been working on recently. I've been posting on my Instagram called Beat It Rufus. Um, I'm basically just working on this as I wait for my graphic novels to come out this summer. Uh, so I have two graphic novels coming out this summer. Let me get that out of the way first. Uh, I have, at last, uh, Joseph Smith and his Mormons, the graphic novel I've been working on for years now, and I, I've talked about it a lot on this station, on this uh, <laughs> on this YouTube channel. That's coming out in July, uh, July 26th, and then also on July 26th, strangely enough, is another graphic novel called As a Cartoonist, which is a collection of uh, short stories, like autobiographical stories I've had published in anthologies over the years, and in a couple stories are in Blamo. Anyway, so yeah, pick those up. But as I wait for that stuff to come out, um, I'm not really, I wasn't really working on any graphic novels. So I started, I got this sketchbook and I started uh, working on this story for the, in the Fonte Bukowski universe about this guy, Rufus Baxter, who's a, a, uh, you know, basically a, an older gentleman who um, wanted to be a rock star all of his life, worked really hard at that goal and stuff but now is like at the point where he's realizing that it's not going to happen for him that all his dreams just aren't going to come true and now he's old and he's wasted his life on this and he doesn't he, you know he doesn't know what to do now so he's kind of revisiting his past and um on a road trip to basically make a couple apologies before he retires from uh this goal of being a famous rock star and uh and also, um, he wants to go to his old record label and get his royalties, which he's never been paid. So I basically this I did you know I wrote this story in 2014, and I was doing it for the newspaper that I worked for, Westward. It was published um, as weekly comic strips, so it was called just Rufus Baxter at the time, the oldest unknown rock star. And I always wanted to somehow have it as a, you know, make it a graphic novel, but it was only like a four panel comic, sometimes a little bit more, five panels. Uh, and I just didn't know how to really structure it that way. And um, I knew that it just needed some work. So I'm taking this opportunity of having this downtime to, to do that, to just basically redraw these comics in a sketchbook at a graphic novel like as a graphic novel, you know, and um, and clean up some of the humor in it, make it a little better, fix the pacing, which I'm all about. Uh, but yeah, it took like a year. I just did this strip for like a year in the newspaper in Denver, and I did it at the same time I was working on the first Ponte Bukowski book. So uh, the humor is very similar to that, and it takes place in the same universe. Like Fonte does show up in this comic at some point somewhere but yeah so I and I, I work on this like every morning I get up with my son so that my wife can have a couple hours extra of sleep and I hang out with him and I just draw I try to draw like one page in here and I use this here I've made this uh, little template and I, I can just trace that in the sketchbook and then draw a page and sometimes it's just a redraw of one of the strips and a lot more often than not it's just something that I've written that morning to keep the story going further so anyway I'm, I'm posting this basically daily on my Instagram if you want to follow along the story and then I scan it into my computer and, and color the pages later so that way if I if I publish this as a book which I, I will at some point it'll be in color and I'll have that file ready so anyway yeah this is where I left off here and you can see I have all these pages pre pre templated out <laughs> ready for the ready for uh, ready for me each morning yeah all right guys well that's all I just wanted to share what I'm working on I hope you guys are doing well